Hey guys, it's Clara from Online Fabric Store. If you have a faded pair of jeans that you want to revive, why not dye them? I'm using denim blue writ dye on these and black dye line dye on these. So let's get started. The materials you'll need are jeans, writ dye or dye line dye. For writ dye, dishwashing soap and writ color stay fixative are also recommended. Salt, measuring cups, rubber gloves, and a container for dyeing. Machine wash the jeans in warm water before dyeing. You can use either type of dye or try a different color for a unique look. Cover your work surface with plastic and wear rubber gloves when handling the dye. One packet of Dylon Permanent Dye dyes up to half a pound of fabric. These jeans are a little under a pound when dry, so I'm going to use two packets. Dissolve the powder in four cups of warm water. Be careful not to inhale the powder. Stir until the dye is completely dissolved. Fill a container with as much water as needed for the jeans to be able to move freely. The water should be warm. Add the dissolved dye and stir thoroughly. Mix in a third of a cup of salt. Submerge the jeans and stir constantly for 15 minutes. The dye looks blue, but don't worry, it'll turn out black in the end. Keep in mind that mini jeans contain a percentage of polyester or other synthetic materials which don't dye. You may not be able to get a super dark black if this is the case. Let it sit for 45 minutes, stirring occasionally. Rinse the jeans in cold water. Machine wash in warm water and air dry away from direct heat and sunlight. Wash separately the first couple of times to remove any excess dye. Fill a large plastic container or stainless steel pot or sink with three gallons of hot water. If your tap water doesn't get scalding hot, heat up the water on the stove until it's near boiling. Add one cup of salt to enhance the color and about a teaspoon of dishwashing soap to help the fabric dye evenly. If you want the darkest results possible, keep the water on the stove the entire time to maintain the heat. Use half a cup of dye, or if you want a dark color, use a full bottle. For light colors, use less dye. Shake the bottle and pour it into the water. Stir well before adding the damp jeans. Stir continuously, especially for the first 10 minutes. Make sure the dye is getting to all parts of the jeans. For dark colors, leave the jeans in the dye bath for at least 30 minutes while stirring often. The denim fabric used for jeans is typically woven with both indigo and white threads. This gives denim its characteristic look. When you dye denim, it will create a flatter color. Use Rit Color Stay Dye Fixative to enhance the color and reduce bleeding. Fill another container with about three gallons of hot water. Use half a cup of fixative for every pound of dry fabric. Put the jeans in the fixative solution and stir for 20 minutes. Rinse in cool water. Machine wash on warm and dry. Wash separately at first, then with like colors. Now that the jeans are dry, you can see how the colors turned out. The black isn't super black, but it's much darker than before. The other pair turned out to be a nice dark blue. The denim still has its characteristic look because the white threads didn't dye much, meaning it's probably polyester. The results will differ for other jeans depending on the percentage of cotton and the starting color. But that's part of the fun of dyeing. You never know how it's gonna turn out. Thanks for watching this OFS project.